Hello, everybody. We are back here on Way of the Hunter. Hope everybody is having a good day. And uh, I know we don't normally stream on Wednesday, but since, you know, Way of the Hunter release week, I'm not going to uh, do my normal days off. I'm going to uh, go ahead and stream some Way of the Hunter for you guys. Hope you guys have been having a good day. We're going to head out and continue watching some of our herds grow. I spent some time recording a video down here in Diamond Drill. Uh, that video will be going live today, so um, hopefully we end up getting ourselves a uh, giant down here. That would be pretty nice. But uh, I've got a pretty cool video going out today that I think you guys will enjoy. And then there's going to be a video to follow it tomorrow because uh, something pretty cool happened. And I'm very excited to uh, show it to you guys. Hey Dalton, how's it going dude? Hey Average Farmer. Game is amazing, have you had any blood trails disappear? I've had a couple of them disappear. They just kind of like disappear out of nowhere and... Then you can't find anything else. You go back to where you shot it and the blood is completely gone. That is a known bug. And uh, they are fixing it. And then, uh, when it comes to the other possibility for losing blood, if you have a blood trail that says low bleed rate, it will stop bleeding eventually, and then it'll heal up and continue to live. Nice, Ryan. Glad you're enjoying the game, dude. Oh, and also, guys, I got some clarification from the developers on the rares in the game. Um, they said that there is currently no random rares that can spawn. The only rares are from missions, but there is a planned feature to add rares into the game. So eventually there will be rares. They've got them planned. Uh, they will be added with an update at some point. So honestly, I kind of like that, and I'll tell you why. The reason I kind of like that is because by the time they add rares, most likely we will probably have got a lot of our five-star trophies and we'll need something new to search for. So adding rares would give us that new thing to search for. And so I'm okay with this. And I'm also okay with non-typicals coming at a later date for the same reason. When they do release, that's going to give us a bunch of new stuff to look for. So I'm okay with that. I'm glad that they cleared it up though. Because that was something I was very curious about. Oh, 2.42 p.m. We need to change the time. Yeah, probably deliberate. Probably. I did because it's a mission animal. I need to do that mission on this account though. Now that we have swapped over to my main account with full release, I need to go back and do some of that. Oh, that's not good, Andre. That's not good. I'm not exactly sure what would cause uh, save file corruption with Way of the Hunter. I haven't noticed it happening on PC, so that's strange. Oh, really, Ben? I have not tried that, no. I mean, I got it with me. Maybe we could attempt that at some point today. I do need to unlock some of the other private areas, like uh, this one up here. If we could get this piece of private land to hunt, that'd be nice. And also to see if they fixed that crash that I was getting there. Wonder how good the 22 is on Badger? Uh, it's not great, Johnny. I tried it yesterday. Oddly enough, 22 gets a brain shot easily on a fox. Like, I was able to shoot through the fox's brain and it went all the way down to the base of its neck. But then I tried it on a badger and it took 10 shots with uh, multiple ones being in the lung before it actually died. So, yeah. At least from my testing, 22 is not great on badger. But it does okay on fox provided you... Uh, Hit something that's going to drop it. Have I hunted any rabbits? I have not hunted rabbits yet. Also, guys, I got the perk that allows us to uh, walk with Hunter Sense toggled on, so that's going to make things so much easier. Oh, really, JT? I actually haven't ran into that issue yet. To be fair, though, I have not hunted a lot of birds, so... That's probably partially the reason. You can find elk in like the bottom left of the map in the top right or top left as well. Pretty much this entire right side is where you'll find lots of elk. 
And if you're curious where to find elk, you can go into the encyclopedia. Once you have found like an elk uh, zone, it'll tell you the regions you can find them in. So primary habitat is the mountains. So any of the areas you go to on the map that say mountains under them, that's an area that you can find them. And I believe that if you discover more locations, it'll tell you more of the places they can be. Like, uh, let's see. Find whitetail deer. Yeah, so it says highland forest right now, but they can also be in lowland forest. So, like, as you discover more zones, it'll give you more information. So, one thing you could do is just run around the map and uh, try to pick up as many zones as you can. And that uh, encyclopedia will fill up with information and uh, let you know more about each of those species. Seems like there's nothing over here. Did I keep my trophies? No, Alexander. I uh, started a brand new game. I could have kept everything from early access, but I didn't want to. I wanted to start fresh so I'm on the same page as you guys, and I also wanted to use all the knowledge we gained from early access to uh, hopefully cultivate some pretty impressive herds. Speaking of herds, there's a mule deer herd down here. It's not coming to PS4, Harley. It's a it's a current generation uh, systems game only. It's not going to be on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. And if I were to take a guess as to why, it probably wouldn't be able to run very well on a uh, older system like that. Hey, Dalton, it's going good, man. I'm having a good day. I mean, that's really personal preference, Cooper. I like Way of the Hunter better because it's more of my pacing. It's a little bit more realistic of a game. And a lot of times with hunting games, I strive for, like, a realistic experience that's also fun. Classic was always a little bit too slow-paced for me, which is why I didn't play it nearly as much as Call of the Wild. I feel that Way of the Hunter, though it is incredibly slow paced, like once you've kind of learned where animals are, you can still find them relatively consistently, but not as quickly as Call of the Wild. So for me, this game is like the perfect balance of everything that I enjoy in a hunting game. That combined with like the attention to detail with the animations of all the animals, the reactions to getting shot, the whole herd management aspect, and uh, cultivating out your herds to be good genetics, it's, it's stuff I love. Yeah, me too, Blaze. I do wish they had gone with a more realistic scoring system, but I also understand why they did the Boone and Crockett and CIC combination system. To kind of simplify it for newer players and also just to make it so it's a generalized system that can be used for all species. Like, I get why they did it, but yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Definitely would have preferred to see Boone and Crockett. That's the buck we want to take down. Two star mature. Let's get him with the 300 magnum, honestly. Is that him? Ooh, we might have got a stomach shot, actually. Might have been a bit far back. Hey, Davis, I'm doing good, dude. Doing very well. Got through the Hollywood mission last night. Loving the game so far. Nice, Justin. Glad you're enjoying it. Well, it's, it's not necessarily up to me to ask them about that, uh, Andre. I would honestly... Or is it Andre? Is it Andre? Andre? Apologies if I'm saying your name wrong, but... I would highly recommend you actually go to their Discord and make a bug report in their bug reports, uh, channel. Because that's where you'll get the most help. That is the most likely place that the developers will see it. Small amount of blood. Yeah, that was a bad shot. Wow. Unfortunate. Didn't expect that. I know, right, Levi? At this point, I'd be a millionaire. 
Hey, Nox, how's it going, dude? Good to see you. Got to adjust the positioning of my microphone. Actually, I feel like... I feel like I had it set up differently yesterday. Hold on, let me lower. There, I'm pretty sure this is what I was using yesterday. Now I can move it back to where I normally have it. Does that sound a little bit clearer, guys? It doesn't look like it's peaking as much on the meter, which is good. As long as you guys can still still hear me well, then... That is all that matters. What's my best trophy in Way of the Hunters so far? Well, you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow's video to see that. Sounds good? Okay, awesome. Loving the look of this game. Can't wait to play it. Yeah, it's amazing. It's such a good looking game for sure. Very well done. Sounds perfect? Okay. Awesome, Collide. Awesome. Don't find tracking that difficult harder, definitely harder than in Call of the Wild, but not as hard as everyone made it out to be. It's hard to learn at first, but once you kind of understand how the blood trailing works, then it is a little bit easier. But at first it is kind of difficult when you're going in completely blind. Like when I first uh, tried to track down some deer in the game, it was kind of difficult because there was nothing like content wise out on the internet at that time. So I can see like if somebody is just, if somebody has not watched any videos for Way of the Hunter and they just go straight into it, you could probably have quite a bit of issues finding tracks or finding the uh, blood trails and learning what the blood trails mean. I think that's where I could see it being an issue. But I like it. I do like the way the tracking is. I uh, know, Andrew, nothing good yet. However, we're about to check up on a herd that uh, I was keeping tabs on in today's video. Let's just say... Where are they? Well, we're gonna say where are they because I don't see them. <laughs> That's unfortunate. They're not here today, it seems. Unless they're just further up in the tree line or further down the river, which is possible. But we have a herd over here that had two three-star adults. Let's just say, one of them's dead. And, uh, one of them isn't. But I'm not gonna say anything more. I'll let you guys, uh, ponder whether or not we got a big deer or if we watched a giant die. But, uh, something happened with that herd. And that'll be tomorrow's video. Maybe, Blaze. Uh, to be honest, I haven't heard too much about it, Levi. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Ooh, that's new. That's new. I did not see a four-star mule deer in this herd yesterday. Oh my gosh, there's a four-star giant here. Holy! We got a four-star giant. The question is, do we let him try to grow to a five or do we take him down? Uh, what do you mean? How, you gotta be more specific than that. Like, just saying they need to fix something is like the least helpful way to phrase it possible. What do they need to fix in specific with the ducks? Because if you want something fixed, it uh, it helps to elaborate on exactly what the issue is and how you think it could be fixed. Let it grow? Kind of thinking that we will. Shooting them, they fall through the map. See, that's the type of thing I need to know. Um, 
Yeah, I've heard of that issue. I haven't had it myself. Best place to report it would be their Discord. They have a bug reports chat in there. And they do read every single bug report. So if you want them to know about that, that's going to be the best place to do it. Let him grow, let him grow, let him grow. Okay, that's him right there. Or no, that's not him. I think he's this one. Hard to tell through all this brush. Yeah, he's one of those bucks. Big level four, or four star mule deer. Also, how's it going, Johnny? And yeah, the duck models are not the greatest in the world. Not a fan of the models, for sure. That's a two-star mature muley. Uh, continue the missions, Travis. You gotta finish the missions. Or the first four missions, I should say. Would also recommend checking out the guide I posted yesterday if you haven't. Because it explains that as well as a bunch of other useful information for when you get started. Yeah, the Ross Goose are nice looking. Probably the best looking uh, bird model. Wow, we got a two, a three, and a four star mature in this uh, herd. I want to get the two star mature, but it's one of the ones that's kind of hidden over the hill right there. But that's the one that I'd like to take down. Nice bronze corner. Pull the two star. Yeah, that's what we're going to try and do. If we can possibly get a view on him, we'll take him down. We need to just slowly walk across this river and uh, hope that we don't spook it. Do you recommend doing the missions? Um, at least do the landowner missions. Honestly, I would say probably with the main missions, they're completely optional, except for the first four. You need to do the missions until it tells you you unlock the store. Otherwise, you won't be able to do, well, anything really. That's that giant four star. My gosh, he's huge. Oh, they're coming over here. We might be able to get some pictures of this guy. Oh, we can totally get some cool pictures. Let's go. Look at him go. That's so cool. Ah, oh, man. I want to get... Oh, we can get right up here. That's so awesome. I wish we could get a little bit closer. I'd like a clearer picture of him, but that's cool still. I think that guy's probably got some life left in him. What do you guys think? Does that guy look like he's reached his prime or does he look like he could grow more? Nice, Derek. It's a good game, man. I love this game. Look at that beauty. That guy's just a massive giant. And then that's the three star next to him. Yeah, I think he's got a little bit left in him. I think he could grow a little bit more. Definitely think he's got a little bit more time in him.
Now, where is that two star? I'd like to get close and get some better pictures if we can. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Murphy. That's kind of uh, my thought process as well. He's definitely the darkest of all of them. But he doesn't have a ton of patchiness, so yeah, there is a chance that he could continue living for like one more year. I guess we'll see, though. I guess we shall see, because we're going to try and let him, gr let him uh, grow. Uh, yeah, Steve, I've noticed quite a few different looking antlers. Let's get a better picture of this guy if possible. Which one is him? Where did he go? Um, can't very well photograph him if we can't get close. Of course he moved. Just as we think we're close enough, he moves. I just want some photographs. Where are you? Silly deer won't let me get close enough for a picture. All I wanted was a picture with my favorite mule deer and an autograph and won't give me that. So rude. They definitely don't grow every day, Joshua. Oh, they're spooked? What? Oh, okay then. Guess we're not going to be uh, taking down that two-star mature then. Somehow he ended up spooking. Quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. We at least got some pictures of him. Not 100% uh, sure fakest, but I mean that right there. There's our four-star. That right there was about a hundred meters and they spooked while I was crawling. Uh, not really, Owen. I wasn't planning on, uh, on killing that four star. You know, he's the one that decided to lead the pack away. I was going to be nice to them, man. I was, I just wanted pictures and autographs and, and maybe killing the two star, but that's, that's beside the point. Oh, there was another herd. Whoa, hold, where, when did this, what? Okay, I guess I have more herds here than I thought. Let's grab some more zones if we can. Red Fox, ooh, interesting, didn't know Fox were down here. What's the best gun in the game? It really depends on what you're trying to do. I like the 308 the best. I think it's the most balanced rifle in the game. As you can take stuff like elk, moose, all the deer species, like, it's very versatile. But then for small game, like the 223 is one of the better ones. Yeah, they are smashed. They're across uh, both reserves. We're almost at the border down here. Be nice if we could get all of these zones. Just real quickly since we already spooked them. Oh yeah, we're right at the border of the map. Yeah, map boundary. Okay, so there won't be any more zones there. Let's attempt to go check on that whitetail from yesterday. I could not find him after the stream. I looked so many times, I could not find his herd. I don't know what happened to him. Yeah, Grim, I like the 223. I think it's pretty well balanced in this game. It doesn't feel completely useless like Call of the Wilds. Are the DLC in this game good? Um, I have no idea. They haven't released any of their DLC yet. 
That's 1108. We got a couple hours left to hunt uh, before the time is done for their drinking time. What happens if you kill an animal with too big a caliber? I'm, assu I'm assuming you're just talking about like shooting a deer with a 338 or something like that. So uh, what would happen if you did that is you'd just lose your hunt rating. And uh, losing the hunt rating doesn't really affect much except for the cash. If you kill something with too large of a rifle, it'll give you a low hunt rating, which will take down the amount of cash you get as well. Hey, Steve, no five stars today. Nothing uh, too crazy. There is a four star mule deer on the map, though, and we're going to see if we can grow him up to be a five star. Because he was looking like he might still have a year in him or two. You like Call of the Wild better or Way of the Hunter? I like Way of the Hunter better, but I still play both of them. And believe it or not, even though you guys don't see the uh, content for Call of the Wild right now, I'm actually still playing it every day. I do a little bit of Red Deer grinding every day to still work towards that great one. Or possible Super Rare. I uh, got a couple more 270 scoring Red Deer the last couple days as well. Lots of Giants showing up. Really hoping that uh, eventually... I'll be able to get a super rare since we've been trolled three times by piebald legendaries. Yeah, exactly, Osgard. And I guess that's actually what I meant when I when I was saying less money. It's I guess it's not the hunt rating that takes away the money, but you get a low hunt rating for a big caliber and also get a Loss of money because of the meat loss. Though the meat loss isn't exactly the most realistic numbers, you know, I, I guess it gets the trick done. I guess its whole purpose is just to... Minimize the amount of people that use like a 338 on a rabbit. Are there different fur variations in the game? Not as of now, Lone Wolf. Just through missions. However, I talked to uh, the community manager last night and asked for uh, clarity on it. And he said that they don't have rare fur types that can be randomly found right now. However, it's something they plan to add. So in a future update, we will get rares. And then possibly non-typicals in the future as well. And honestly, I'm kind of okay with that, and I talked about this earlier, but to be honest, I would rather it be this way where we get rares later, and the main reason for that is because most likely by the time they release something like rares, we will have found most of our, like, big four and five star trophies that we were looking for, and then they'll introduce something like rares and we'll have something new to look for. What do you mean, SK? Can you uh, clarify that a little bit? Because I've always felt that this game plays so much better than Call of the Wild. I guess it really comes down to personal preference, though. This game's way more realistic and isn't necessarily going to appeal to everybody that plays Call of the Wild, so... I can understand the, uh... Opinion of Call of the Wild being better, but I'd also like to know what your perspective is on why you think so. To understand it a little bit better. Uh, no, Davis, this is made by Nine Rocks Games, which is uh, comprised of developers that have worked on stuff like DayZ and the Cabela's games. You think they'll add bows into the game? They've talked about possibly doing that at some point. As for whether or not it'll happen, it's hard to say as of now. Hey, Aether, how's it going? Welcome. Oh, it is Walking Burrito? I mean, they should be there the same for everybody. However, if you've shot a bunch of does for Whitetail, I could maybe see that being the reasoning why. Because if you shoot a bunch of does, it will actually reduce your population on your reserve. So in other words, don't shoot does. Shooting does is a no-no in this game. That's a one-star mature buck right there. Or is it the one in the back? It might be the one in the back. One of them's a one-star mature. Yeah, that's the young. So the bigger one is the mature. Yeah, 
Yes, Kate, definitely. And that's why I was asking for clarification because I, I was just curious if it's just a gameplay style you don't like or if uh, or if you genuinely thought the game was terrible. Because there's some people that dislike the game just because they think it's going to beat Call of the Wild out. And so I was just curious uh, what your uh, reasons were for it. Is that our guy? I can't tell which one is him. Okay, it is this guy right here. Okay, we got him. Was uh, curious if that was a vital hit, and it looks like it is. And no, Bill, that's not what the perk is. Um, I believe that's what Flinter said, right? If I'm not mistaken. Um, that, that's actually not what you have to do. I think what he was saying is that for the deer caller, if you're using that, you can only attract females with stage one calls. However, there is a lot of other callers that attract males with their stage one calls. And the perk is just the ability to unlock stage two calls. You don't have to kill does. It's just sell 10 called animals. So you can buy like the um, elk caller or the red deer caller and it will attract low fitness males with stage one calls. And that way you can unlock the stage two calls without having to ever shoot a doe. Because I'm pretty sure he was just saying that that's what he was doing because he had the deer caller. When is ultimate hunting coming out? 2023, Graham. They pushed it back, which I kind of expected. Nice, Alpha. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome, man. Congratulations. Hey, let's find this blood right here. Wow, that guy was leaking out like crazy. We definitely hit this one good. I'm hoping that we're going to find that other herd of whitetail over there. They were not there all of yesterday, so... I'm really curious uh, where that herd ended up. It's got that nice three-star adult that we were watching, and I don't know what he's become at this point. One-star adult, that might be another one we want to take down, honestly. I see our deer, too. Hey, Funky, we're still kind of managing our whitetail populations, trying to get rid of some of the bad genetics animals. As a 10-year veteran playing the Hunter Classic, this game smokes classic. That was my thoughts too, man. Like, it really feels like what the Hunter Classic could have been if they had made it on a more modern graphics engine. It definitely gives off more of a uh, better version of classic type of vibes. This was our mature, I believe. Yeah, 30% genetics. Good thing we got that guy down. Definitely, Steve. The thunderstorms are wild. They absolutely are very, very wild and impressive looking. We actually had a thunderstorm, I think, during yesterday's stream. It was pretty crazy. I don't think so, uh, Sasa. I don't think advancing the day makes them age. I think you have to also pass time in the game. So, obviously, we can't really give a exact amount of time as to how long it takes to get an animal to grow in this game because there's just no way to prove one thing or another right now. There's just very limited data for us to figure out how long it takes them to age. But there's been... A few different times now where I played for a couple hours in game, reset the time, and didn't see any difference with them. Then there's also been times where I've hunted for 30 minutes, changed the time, and then saw a difference. So, I, I don't know as of now. More consistently, though, it takes at least an hour or two to see any difference. So, 
And for as for whether or not time resetting is what advances them, or whether they just do it when you leave render, it's hard to say. It's so hard to say. There's this other buck right here, though. I think this one definitely was bad genetics. Oh, 26. Oh, gosh. It's always hard to judge the adult ones because it could just be a young adult uh, white-tailed deer. Like, it could be in the first stages of adult. But I figured if it looks like this as an adult, it's probably not a good one. And I think, yeah, we were pretty, uh... We were pretty, uh... What's the word? I think we made the right choice on that guy. Oh yeah, Phantom, I've got a Discord. It's in the description and it's also in uh, the description of all my videos. And right there in the chat as well, since uh, Smash just used the command. No Funky, no 5 star yet. We're still looking. Hopefully gonna find it today though. Oh no, Gavin. It's also possible that it's at a different zone. Is that a... I think that's a random whitetail I didn't collect yesterday. Wait. Is that a dead whitetail? It is! <laughs> I forgot to claim a whitetail yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah, Smash. That's one of the things that I don't like. Not a, uh, not a fan of the 12 gauges recoil. Got a diamond rock tarming in yesterday. Nice Levi. That's awesome, dude. Those things are rare. I haven't seen too many diamond ptarmigan. Can I check if there's loss of meat for time? Oh, we definitely will. Definitely will. Uh, MX Clips, thank you so much for the super chat. Dude, really appreciate it. Uh, when I tried to get away of the hunter, it says corrupted, won't let me get on my game, saw multiple struggling, do you know a fix? I'm not sure to be honest, MX. Uh, from what I've heard, that's a console issue, and I don't play on console, so I don't really have too much info I can give you there. So this one is an, oh, ooh, okay, we made a bad decision there. 88% genetics. When did I shoot this? Lost by time, 105 kgs. Wait, why is it still giving me 369 though? What? Okay, so there is a loss by time, but I think it's bugged. It still gave me full cash. Well, that's not good, best OG. Now, will it actually give me 369? It did. Yeah. Well, that's that's broken. <laughs> that's definitely a bug. Yes, yeah, so that means it's been like 300. Oh, I know what that is, guys. You said the tracking time was 311 hours. That was the one that bugged out on us yesterday. That was the deer that the tracks disappeared from. If you guys didn't know, whenever the tracks just completely disappear, like the blood trail, and then you go back to where you shot it, and the blood splatter has disappeared as well, it's a known bug where they kind of teleport to a random area within like five or six hundred meters. I can't figure out like what causes it, but the developers are working to get that one fixed for sure. But I'm sure that's probably what happened there. If it said 311 hours, I have not been playing this game for 311 in-game hours yet. That's for sure. We've got maybe 200 in-game hours put into this and like 10 real-life hours. But I know for a fact I didn't reset the time enough for it to be 311. Uh, probably performance reasons, Brayden. They haven't talked about it, but I would imagine that the game just would not run well on a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. And uh, as developers, they kind of got to focus on like what systems are going to make them the most money as well. And obviously, if it performs terrible on an old console, then 
not a lot of people are going to buy it or play it. And so for them, they'd probably end up losing money instead of making it on those particular uh, platforms. And so they just focused on current generation and PC, as those are likely the systems that would run the game best. And probably within the next year, they're also probably thinking of the future. Within a couple of years, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will start getting supported less and less, and PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X will become a little bit more affordable over the years, so more people will get those. And so they probably just wanted to focus on the stuff that's going to do best. I don't see this herd once again. Uh, it could be phantom, definitely. But I, I guess if you just have a good genetics animal on your map, then it could always reach that. Been having a tough time following the blood trails after the initial hits. So do you have any tips? Uh, use the hunter sense if you're not. And also, if you haven't already done it, identify 30 unique animal clues. So, like, a drink zone, feeding zone, and resting zone for 10 different species will get you those 30 unique uh, signs collected. And that will unlock the ability to walk around while in Hunter Sense. That's going to help quite a bit for tracking the blood. And then the other thing to remember is that whenever you look at a blood trail, it's going to be pointing in the direction of the next blood trail as well. That can be pretty helpful whenever you are stalking up on... Or not stalking up, but whenever you're tracking a deer that you shot. And also make sure you got a vital hit. If it says small amount of blood, a lot of times the blood will disappear and the animal will heal. Oh my gosh, Siv, that's hilarious. Now you make me want to try that. But yeah, guys, I have not seen this whitetail herd at this location ever since yesterday. I've been here probably six more times. I, I tried to come here many times for today's video and just couldn't find him. I don't know where he went and I don't know where his herd has gone either. Makes me curious about maybe I hunted this area too much and the pressure pushed them out. Because they did say that if you have too much pressure in an area, they can move. Uh, no, I didn't see it, Gavin, but I heard about it. Alright, let's go ahead and... Check over here. I mean, it is the first release of it, uh, Beast Man. You gotta think, like, anytime a game releases, there's going to be issues. I'd say wait until they put out a couple updates and see if it's still bad then. But if I'm being honest, it's got less bugs than Call of the Wild. The game has just released and there's already less bugs than Call of the Wild. It's 12. Okay, let's do a time reset and then we will check that uh, four star mule deer and then once we check him We'll kind of go along this river again and see if we've got anything big along there Hey Elza, how's it going? Also, let's see. How much do I need for the 308? So 6760. Okay. We can definitely do that. We can definitely get there today, I'd say. Oh yeah, I can talk about the private land. It's actually pretty easy to tell. It will not show up at first. However, whenever you go to one of these outposts, you can press E on the inspect board. It's kind of like the map that's inside each of these outposts. And then, um, 
But once you do that, it'll kind of like reveal the names of each of the areas around you. And the private land is going to show up in red at first if you don't have it unlocked. And then you can do missions for the landowner to gain access and the private land is where you will find the highest genetics animals early on. Like uh, those areas naturally have just better genetics animals than the rest of your map when you start. Obviously you can get the rest of your map to be just as good by harvesting the proper animals. What, Dylan? No, I did not. I said I was going to do a few weeks of Way of the Hunter first, and then I would slowly introduce Call of the Wild back in. I take it you weren't actually fully listening. Because what I said is, I would obviously wait until the Way of the Hunter hype dies down a little bit, and then we would post Call of the Wild again. It's a brand new game, and a game that I'm really enjoying. I'm not going to just take away from time playing it, when it's literally a day after release. In a week or two, we'll start getting Call of the Wild content back out. Is there anything that Call of the Wild does better than this game? I think as of now, the thing that Call of the Wild does best is... Probably... Probably long-term trophy hunting because you have super rares, you have great ones... And those two things really, like, push you to go for a long-term grind that could take months. And sometimes even years for some people. Uh, as of now, Way of the Hunter doesn't have something like that, as the best thing you can find is five stars. So I'd say that's the only thing. But eventually this game will have that as well. Eventually they will have rares. Um... Gosh, could you guys imagine watching a rare grow and then uh, thinking to yourself, "Oh gosh, when do I take this thing? Do I do I take it as a as a two star adult, or do or do I take it as a two star mature? Do I see if we can grow it to a three star mature, or is it gonna die? Oh gosh, that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be incredible. Uh, yeah, Levi. They said there is no rares in the game as of now, besides mission animals, but it's uh it's going to be added at some point. So they will add rares sometime in the next few updates, probably. Hard to say exactly when. But they said that eventually they will add rares. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? And my wife has entered chat as well. Everybody's joining the party. But yeah, once again, to clarify for anybody that was wondering why we haven't posted Call of the Wild, it's because we're doing Way of the Hunter for a while until... until a couple weeks have passed, most likely. Because as of now, this is the game I'm really enjoying, and it's the game that everybody else wants to see as well. Call of the Wild is on hold. But there will be more Call of the Wild content at some point, don't worry. Oh, definitely. Key bindings and FOV slider are actually planned for the next couple updates, too. Next couple updates, we'll see both of those added. As well as, I believe, ultra wide support. How big is the map? It is 144 square kilometers. Uh, no, Chris, I wouldn't. I am not going to shoot any does in this game because. Uh, shooting does can reduce the population of animals on your map. So no, I will not shoot a doe even if it's the only thing in the herd. I just don't hunt that herd. Because I, I do have one herd like that and I just avoid them. I am going to try and only do what we can to get the best of the best. Now, I'm sure that probably shooting one or two does here and there isn't going to affect it too much, but it says that if you end up shooting a significant amount of females, then it will reduce the population for that animal. And I'm assuming that's just because, like, less, uh, less animals to breed. 
So that would mean less animals on the reserve? Well, it depends on what you're going for, Murphy. That's actually not entirely true. Let's go right here to the mechanics. Where is it? Male to female ratio. Where is it? Wait, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Where is it? Hey, it's it's in here somewhere. I know it. Am I just missing it, guys? Where is it? I feel like I passed over it. It's not here. It doesn't show until you kill a female. Oh, got you. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too, uh, Crackbone. It definitely does have less bugs already. And honestly, I chalk that up to the fact that Call of the Wild was the first game made on the Apex Engine, so it was probably like a test subject of sort. Call of the Wild was the first game they had made on that graphics engine, so... I kind of expect it to have more issues than some of their newer games. Like, if you guys look at Generation Zero or Second Extinction that are made on the same engine, both of those games have way less bugs. What do you think is more rare, a five star or a diamond and call of the wild? Definitely a five star. Five stars are very rare. It took me, I think, let's see, we played like 77 hours in early access and I only found three five stars the whole time. It's uh, definitely difficult. Since it doesn't show until we kill a female, we might have to shoot one just so I can show you guys the encyclopedia entry. I think it is, Benjamin. Especially with the uh, next couple updates they're going to push out to address some of the bugs and uh, stuff that people want to see. Uh, yeah, Harley, go to their Discord. Um, you should be able to find it just by googling Way of the Hunter Discord. Join that, and then they have a bug report section. Okay, I am, uh, I'm inclined to believe now that the whitetail herd that I had here has moved on. And that is definitely due to hunting pressure. The question is, where would they go? I wonder, do they go over here? Because this is in Diamond Drill as well. There's no, like, little lakes on the mountains. Now, there's some lakes here, though. I don't know. This is going to be interesting to try and figure out how that works, like... I know what the herd looks like for the most part, so if I could find them somewhere else, we would definitely know it's them. I hope so, Anne. I would love to see an Africa map and then also like a British Columbia map. I think those are my two most wanted maps for this game as of now. Well, let's see if that five-star mule is here. Since the Whitetail have definitely moved on. Got my third five-star. Nice clap. Nice. 
Olead edition is definitely worth the extra 15. That's that's not just what you get, Turkey. It's not just the camo jeep. Um, it's the season pass as well. And the season pass is going to give you both of the uh, two DLC maps they have planned for the next year. So the season pass, um, or the Elite Edition, you're basically getting a 12 gauge skin, the Jeep skin, a Mouflon statue for outside of the uh, Transylvania Lodge, and then you're also getting the next two DLC maps they release. So yeah, you won't have to like buy them separately when they uh, get released in the future. You'll just automatically get them added because you have the season pass that's uh, with the Elite Edition. So it's definitely worth it because I imagine that you'll pay more if you buy them separately on release. So it's definitely worth it to get the season pass. Now the moment of truth. Is our four star a five star? Will he still be a four star or will he have grown to a five star giant? Gosh, I hate it when it just randomly speeds me up when I'm walking through water. Um, I have no clue fusion. That's uh, that's not something I've ran into. Five star giant, five star, dead. <laughs> yeah, could be dead as well. Very true, could be dead. Best moose gun? I like the 300 for them. The 338 is obviously gonna kill them quicker, but you lose one star of hunt rating. And I believe you get meat loss as well, so I think the 300 is the perfect option for Moose. Unless you're doing long range. If you're doing long range hunting for them, then the 338 will be a good option. Because the 338 I've noticed is probably one of the best long range rifles in the game. You can punch out to some insane distances with that thing. Four star mature. He's still a four star mature. Hey Aqua, how's it going, man? Yeah, true, Johnny, true. Yeah, we're gonna let him grow more. I want to go check out some other areas. See if our whitetail herd has disappeared to one of those spots. It's possible that maybe they've gone to this river here. It says their other zone is here, but I never see them there. It also shows a zone there for this. Maybe, hmm, where could they have gone? I think we're gonna go ahead and go to this lake here. I wanna see what's over there. Ah, uh, no clue, Gentry. I think the next hunting game that would be releasing is uh, Ultimate Hunting, but that's still like a year away. Ooh, the road goes right there. Let's uh, let's take the road. It'll be quicker. Uh, you can actually turn down the uh, head bobbing, uh, Kells. That will fix the walking animation. 
I'm assuming that's what you're talking about is like the bobbing of the head. You can turn that down in uh, game settings right here. You can turn head bobbing all the way down. Yeah, they added that head bobbing toggle with the day one update. It is nice to be able to turn off now. Why do you use metric? Because that's what the Hunter Classic used and I started out as a classic player before I did YouTube. And so it's just what I'm used to. And it also provides the most even flat numbers. Because when you convert the uh, metric system to Imperial, um, you get weird numbers like 187 yards for Call of the Wild when it's zeroed to like where the 150 meter mark would be. It just, it, it does, doesn't convert well. You go to the parking sign, you can respawn the car there. Yeah, I know. I was already in the cabin though, so I just did it there. Yeah, me too, Kells. The, uh, the animations for, like, the flinching when the deer gets hit, so good. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. I hope they eventually change that. Yeah, Samuel, hopefully. You know, maybe one of these days they will update Way of the Hunter to be Unreal 5. Because right now it's on Unreal 4. I'm assuming the game's probably been in development for at least a few years, so that might be why. But I think they could totally uh, move it over at some point. Okay, yeah, we just need to follow this road. Rifle gunshots sound clean. They do, Caesar. I love them. The only feedback I've seen people giving on the gunshot sounds is that there needs to be a little more echo to them. And I could kind of see that. They could do with a little more echo, but the actual sound itself sounds incredible. Yeah, the 12 gauge recoil is trash, uh, Tim. I'm not a fan of the recoil for the 12 gauge. Gear 6 will absolutely take down everything, but you'll lose money for smaller animals. Yeah, definitely. That's the big thing, like, when using a larger caliber, is you do lose money. Which is why I've been trying to kind of go with calibers that fit the species. That's cool. Cool little landmark. Let's unlock the uh, landmark real quickly. Founders Field. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Good old Founders Field. Uh, Dexter, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Can you fast travel to the vehicle? Sadly, no. I hope that one of these days they'll make that a possibility. But as of now, you cannot fast travel to the vehicle. I do think that would be good, though. Uh, Fruit, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Someone gifted money, so I will as well. Well, thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you've been doing great. Oh, here we go. Windy road. Going up on two wheels around these corners. I don't know what caliber to use. Um, so... It's not super clear in-game. But the easiest way to find out with just stuff that's provided in game would be to go to your encyclopedia, uh, go to whatever animal you want to harvest, and look at the recommended hit energy. You see how this one says 1543 to 3705 for whitetail? Then what you would want to do is look down your scope of whatever rifle you plan to use and go into your hunter sense. If you look at the top right, it'll tell you the energy that this bullet will have whenever it impacts where you're aiming. Like, for example, if I were to 
try a crazy shot like this that is 700 meters, um, the 7mm Mod 8 would be clear down to 1380. But if I were to take a shot that's, you know, right here around 200, then it's going to have 2400. And so that's really the only way that you can tell. Like, if you're doing long range shooting, you can use a larger caliber on them and uh, not lose any money from the meat damage. Which is actually kind of cool. Like, if you plan to do some long range hunting, you could totally use, like, a, uh, a 300 Magnum on a deer and probably get full hunt integrity, or I guess full hunt rating, and no meat loss. It's cool that they've, like, gone that deep with it. Alright, let's start moving down to this, uh, lake here. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. 300 on a mouflon at 700 meters. Jeez, Brian, that's wild. Yeah, my wife made a uh, 400 meter heart shot on a chamois yesterday. And I think my best shot is probably the 688 uh, meter lung shot on a mouflon. It's awesome to see some of the long-range shots that people are making. Especially since this game really just feels like it was meant for long-range. Yeah, Johnny, we do need to do a chamois hunt for sure. And guess what? They're exactly where I thought they were too. They're in that top left part of the map in those mountains. What equipment do I want to see? Uh, well, obviously some more rifle calibers, um, a couple more scope options would be nice, like maybe some super high zoom ones. Like, currently the highest zoom we have is an 18x, I'd like to see one go clear up to 24x. I would love to see spotting scopes as well, that go past 30x so we can actually get close looks at some of the animals. Because I feel like with the way the genetic system is in this game, it would be very helpful if we could get a very close look at the antlers on some of the deer that we're not sure if we want to take them now or let them grow. It would help out quite a bit to be able to get a spotting scope so I can get a close look at some of the deer before I take them. That way I can like make more of an informed decision on whether or not I think it's an old deer that needs to be taken down. Or if it's a good genetics one that has high potential. I'd love to see something like that. Yeah, Savage Rifles would be cool. I got a feeling they'll add some more Remington ones. There's only one Remington rifle in the game, and since they've got the, uh, since they've got the rights to be able to add Remington stuff into the game, I got a feeling that the next reserve will release with some Remington rifles. Yeah, an AR-10 would be cool. Though I don't know if they're going to do, uh, semi-automatic rifles for, like, some of the higher calibers. As of now, all we have is a semi-automatic 20 gauge shotgun and a semi-automatic 22, so curious to see what they'll do. Curious if they're going to kind of go the route Call of the Wild did for a while and not add anything that could cause controversy, or if they're just going to add whatever they want. I mean, I got a feeling they seem like the type of people that will add whatever they think is going to be good for the game. I play with Adventurer uh, Burger. I would play on a higher difficulty, but I'm trying to like find a balance between realism and making it like still enjoyable for a lot of people to watch. Because I find that some of the harder difficulties, since it takes longer to get animals down, uh, not everybody wants to watch the like hour it takes to find something. Or to actually get close enough to take something. So I found Adventurer to be the best balance for me. Ooh, Mule Deer. The question is... Do we have any Whitetail here? Because that is what we are looking for. We're trying to find our lost Whitetail. Have the lost Whitetail ended up here? And if so, has the big guy grown? Oh, Whitetail. Three-star mature. 
The herd that I'm looking for had a four star mature in it. <gasps> that's him. This that's him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so that's cool. I hunted this area too heavily down here and they moved over here. That is amazing. Oh, that actually changes everything that they can do that, that they can actually move that far away. Yeah, we'll take it down. I think we'll take this guy down for sure. That changes everything, guys. I did not know that when you added too much pressure to an area by constantly hunting it, because I was hunting this area a lot for yesterday's video. And that herd just got to the point where they didn't want to be there anymore, and now they're over here. That definitely makes things more challenging. And I like that. Yeah, there's our three-star mature. Where's the four-star again? There he is. There's the four-star. That four-star has been on my map for a long time. I don't think he's going to make it to five-star. Because uh, I was chasing after him for a long time yesterday. And only saw him progress to... I believe he got to three-star mature and then four-star mature. And he's still a four-star mature. I don't think he's going to make five-star. So we'll take him down. Ooh. What shot do we want to take here? I was going for the spine, but I kind of missed. Oh, we didn't get a good hit. Definitely not the hit I wanted. He's going to live, I think. That's why it's important to make sure your shot's actually going to connect how you want it to. Yeah, we definitely didn't get him as good as I hoped. Uh, we're going to have to see if we can spot him again. Maybe we can find out where they've gone up in these hills. Take another shot on him. Possibly. We may have just lost, it, lost him. We may have just lost him. I mean, it's possible we single lunged him, I guess. They don't die as quick from a single lung, but... Didn't look like that was a good hit. Ooh, this is gonna be sketchy. How do we get down here without dying? Oh, there we go. Made that jump. Now for the hopefully don't die when I fall jump. Ow. Okay, okay. All right, we're good. We're good. We survived. Yeah, guys, I felt like that shot should have been okay, but... Guess we just barely missed the shot we needed. Question, though, is where did those whitetail go? Since he's bleeding, we could totally track him down, I think. It's just going to be a matter of how long is it going to take. What are we looking for right now? Uh, we've got a four-star whitetail that we just blasted. I've been watching him grow since last night and uh, couldn't find where he had gone. He had left the uh, area that he normally drank and moved clear over to here. You know what's wild though? It shows it as a different... Maybe this isn't individual herds. Maybe this is just zones in general. We thought that maybe, like, each of these symbols was one herd. Because you would see stuff like this happen. We'd do that and it would pop up, like, multiple zones, but never more than two of the same kind. 
And so we thought that it was tied to like individual herds, but I think that's definitely not the case since that is definitely the same herd that uses this zone down uh, here. But now they're over here. Hmm. I mean, it's good we're learning this stuff. Where do we shoot him? It's right here. Yeah, small amount of blood. That's not good. We definitely missed the vitals. Oh, definitely. The game does have a pretty big learning curve. I mean, I'm still learning a ton of stuff about it. I've been playing it for close to 100 hours now, and... I still don't know much. Oh, no, they were right there. They were coming back. Oh, they were coming back. We just blew our chance. That's the first time I've actually got to see a herd coming back after getting spooked. So I guess they do come back. It might just take a long time. Uh, Bowman, thank you so much for the super chat. Dude, really appreciate it. How did you get the missions to go away in the top left corner? Even with none active, it's still there. Uh, press the O button on PC. I don't know what it is on console, but I just press O and it disappears. Learning to hunt like I do IRL? Nice, T-Rex. Yeah, that is the way the game kind of makes you do it. Like, I like that they've made a game to where you really can apply real-life hunting knowledge into it. I haven't got one yet, uh, Funky. We restarted our account yesterday. So we're still pretty early on everything. Yeah, Goofy dude, they do that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool because that's what they would do IRL as well. If you ran up to them when they were uh, bedded down. So we got the fast and loud perk. Which one is that again? 15% faster, but 10% louder movement when crouched. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then I can still do the slow crouch. Riptide, thank you for the super chat, man. Really appreciate it. Have a level 4 piebald render. Is it worth taking it, or will it mess up herd management? Nah, it won't mess up herd management to take just one. Oh, no, Murphy. That's unfortunate, man. That is very unfortunate, dude. I've took down a few good genetics animals by accident as well. Always sad to see it happen, though. Nice burger. Yeah, that is pretty lucky. We should be able to find uh, those whitetail somewhere in these mountains, I imagine. Couldn't be too difficult to spot them, right? Because these are pretty open mountains. I imagine that once we kind of hit the top of this peak, we'll be able to see quite a bit more around us. And maybe be able to spot them. Oh, definitely Pyro. I don't think this game's going to kill Call of the Wild. The games are very different. This game is so addictive, it really is. 
Definitely an addicting game. Oh, and also, the reason we're not tracking the blood anymore is because it would have disappeared by now. Since it was just a small, uh, small amount of blood. Honestly, I think we might want to just wait for him. Go reset the time and then come back here. We risk him dying, but it is what it is if he dies. Because uh, we're not going to get too much. Yeah, those are the mule deer. I was going to say, I swear if those were the whitetail. <laughs> it's the muleys. I want to see if this is a campsite over here. I think it might be. Nice, blueberry. Nice. How many hours do I have in Call of the Wild? Uh, over 4,000. Yeah, Asgard, that is really good. I love that. It is nice to be able to uh, continue right where you left off. That is a pretty massive uh, feature. Hi, Sloan Wanderer. How's it going, dude? Welcome. Did you get that three-star buck from yesterday? It actually disappeared. Like, I don't know where its herd went, uh, Laura. Um, we just found one of the herds that I had lost, though. Um, I had originally seen this herd down here, and it moved clear over here after I hunted this area too much. So I'm going to bet that because we hunted this area so much, that herd has probably moved either up the river or down this section of the river, or maybe up it. We're going to have to do some searching to try and find them again. So it definitely is not a good idea to just only hunt one or two areas. You definitely need to spread things out if you want to successfully find all of your herds at the same place. Or I guess consistently find all of them at the same place. Definitely seems like you got to spread out your uh, hunting areas quite a bit. If the deer dies, can you find a skull in the future? Uh, no, Mark. Uh, they die off camera. Like, they'll die off screen, and uh, that'll be the end of it. It'll be just as if you had killed it and claimed it, except it just disappears. It's essentially like despawning. And then a young one will replace it. What is good genetics? I'm confused on that. So good genetics would be, like, anything that's high up on the percentage. So... Like, for example, if you get one that has 50% genetics, that would be pretty bad genetics. If you see an animal with, like, 70% genetics, that's, you know, getting into the territory where it's pretty decent. And then you get some animals with, like, between 85 and 99% genetics. Those are, like, some insane trophies that are going to produce some monsters in the future. Ah, yes, well, there we go. We got ourselves a campsite. Exactly what I was hoping to see here. Harvest a young adult and mature elk. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty easy, to be honest. 2,000 credit reward for that. So I think we're going to do some elk hunting today, guys. After we uh, go check this lake one more time, we will definitely do some uh, elk hunting. Are the mechanics similar to Call of the Wild? I'd, I'd say definitely not. The game is very different from Call of the Wild in many, many ways. Oh, it definitely is, uh, Johnny. I'm really happy that uh, Way of the Hunter's pheasants don't flush till you're right on top of them. That is uh, pretty nice. 
Nice, Kona. That's awesome. We're chasing down a four-star whitetail. We shot it once, and uh, unfortunately, it did not die. So we uh, reset the time, and we're hoping it'll still be back there. Yeah, that would be kind of cool, Jake. That would definitely make more sense than the campfire. I'm not too worried about it, though, but yeah, it definitely would make more sense. Where can you find black bear? I have seen them most commonly around this area down here, but I've also seen signs from them up here. It really seems like the left half of the map is best for bear. Yeah, Burger, you can. Yeah, they give you all the information about the missions right in the uh, objectives. Tells you the reward, your tasks, and then also the little note that you picked up or whatever. Yeah, the second Binox are way better for sure. Once we earn a bit more money, we're going to buy the better Binox and also get the 308. Yeah, Pyro, I've, I've already said many times that I will. Obviously, since Way of the Hunter just released and it's a brand new hunting game, we're going to play quite a bit of Way of the Hunter for the first couple weeks of its release. However, we will obviously do Call of the Wild as well. I mean, Call of the Wild is what I built the channel on. I'm not just going to abandon it. Hmm, we're going to have to figure out what the best approach is for this lake. Because I know the mule deer sometimes drink on this close side. Yeah, Burger, me too. I'm actually still playing Call of the Wild, though. I've been playing it every day, along with Way of the Hunter. I've just been focusing my stream and video time on uh, Way of the Hunter. But I've been doing um, Great One Grinding every evening. Got a 271 Diamond Red Deer last night, so that was pretty crazy. I think it actually might be in my new personal best as well, because it was almost 271.10. Oh yeah, the birds are definitely more commonly like 3, 4, and 5 stars. I've noticed it's the big game where it gets difficult. Have they fixed the tree hitbox? I actually don't know, Lone Wanderer. I haven't tried any shots like alongside trees yet because of the uh, issues that I was running to in early access I just haven't attempted it but um, I had heard that they're tweaking it I don't know if it's already tweaked or if it's gonna be like the next update but uh, they did say they're gonna tweak it a little bit are there any great ones in way of the hunter uh, no lore there isn't There's the herd. Please tell me this four star is still here. I'm going to be so sad if he's died. Though it would be nice if he turns into a five star. Question is, where's the mule deer? I don't want to spook them off if they're on this side. I am thinking that this is going to be the right way to approach this lake, though. Just right through this little valley between the two hills. So we might end up going down there and then walking this way whenever we approach this lake. Definitely seems to give us the best approach.
Do you know how long deer stay spooked? Not actually sure, Iceman. Iceman. I haven't, uh, really paid attention too much to that. Oh, the muleys are close. Wow. Closer than I would have preferred. Don't want them to spook off while I'm stocking up. There's a one star young there. He's still there. He's still there and he's still a force armature. All right, let's actually uh, make a good shot this time, yeah? Let's do our best to actually make a good shot this time around. I definitely think that if he hasn't grown any more that he's not going to make it to five star though, so I think it's definitely the right decision to take him down. Did he move as I shot? No, we're good. Okay, we got him. I thought maybe he moved and we got shot him, but I think we're good. Come on, bed down right there, buddy. Bed down right there. There he goes. We got him. Big deer down. Four-star mature buck on the ground, guys. On the ground. Oh, wow, F3. That's wild. I've definitely noticed that at close range, they uh, die quicker. Which is pretty interesting, though it makes sense, you know, definitely more power at closer ranges. What's the best kill in the game so far that I've gotten? Uh, this guy is definitely one of them right here. We haven't played a lot, so like ever since I restarted uh, yesterday, I've only got like 10 hours into the game, so we haven't really had a chance to get too many big trophies. That guy is definitely a nice one though. You can tell that he's old though. Like, I don't think he would have lived much longer. There we go. Good enough. Let's see what those genetics are like. Whoa! This is a different deer. This isn't him. This is a different deer. We've only shot this one once. This isn't the same deer. This was that three-star mature that we saw last time. He's a four-star mature now. Because there was a three-star and a four-star mature in this herd. And I guess we had been playing long enough without a reset that when we reset, it progressed that three-star to this four-star. Ooh, 96% genetics. I bet he could have got bigger. Four thirty-nine. This guy could have been a five-star man. So we shot the wrong deer. I thought this was, I thought this was the same one. 
I guess the other one died. The other one probably passed away and then the three star grew. I don't know. That's a confusing one. Good to know, though. Uh, to be honest, the other one might still be alive. To be fair, we didn't necessarily see every deer from that herd. We just saw the four star and I assumed it was the same one. That definitely wasn't, though, because we shot the other one. So if it was the same one, it would have had two uh, bullet wounds. That's crazy. That is crazy. Well, I guess it's time for one more check on that four-star mule deer. See if maybe he's a five-star now. And then we will go take down some elk because uh, we definitely need to get that elk mission done. Uh, yeah, Tristan, it could, but you might need to shoot it more than once, which obviously that kind of makes it difficult to take it down with it. Yeah, definitely, Wapiti. It's definitely still a good buck. It was almost a 5-star. 460 is the beginning for 5-star, and that guy was a 439. What's the best time to go for the black sheep? I would say probably the drink time for bighorn sheep, which I believe is nine. Have I even grabbed a bighorn clue? I haven't. Okay. Best way to make money? Uh, I'd say moose probably, Rizzy. Moose give a ton of cash. So once you have the 300 Magnum, moose will give you over a thousand apiece. Other than that, doing missions as you hunt is one of the best ways to make money. Like, just take a look at this. The one that we just grabbed off of that campsite gives 2,000 coins for shooting a young adult and mature elk. Um, this one right here, 10 kgs of badger meat with a 4 star rating or higher for 1,200. Uh, this one is, I believe all you have to do is shoot like 3 kgs worth of pheasant and you get 600 coins. Like, doing missions is great. Gives you lots of cash. Are you hunting elk? We're going to go take a look at a mule deer that we've been watching first. We got a four star mule deer that could maybe grow to a five. And so we're going to check that guy out and then we will go after some elk right after. Yeah, I hope so, Jake. I hope so. Unfortunately, though, I think they've got larger priorities at the moment, like uh, FOV slider, ultra wide support, key bindings. I think those are their priorities as of now, and then also uh, fixing some of the bugs, probably. Some of the more major bugs, like loss of game saves and uh, things like that. I imagine eventually we'll get some like quality of life things along the lines of uh, antlers being, um, what's the word, like solid so they don't go through things. I'm sure eventually they will address that, but they probably want to focus on the major stuff first. In my opinion, which reserve is better, the U.S. one or the Europe? I like the U.S. one, but that's just because I love whitetail, elk, mule deer, stuff like that. Um, the other reserve is great, though. They're both really nice. Yes, Gavin. Y yes, I am. I've said it many times that I will. I'm actually not sure, Burger. I haven't decided yet if we're going to do Transylvania today. I guess it depends on how much time we have after I finish uh, hunting the elk. Hey, Pioneer, it's going good, dude. Hopefully you've been doing great. Lost a five-star whitetail. Oh, no. That's the worst, man. That is the worst. I've lost a couple five stars in early access, so it's definitely painful to watch happen. How many maps are in the game? Currently two. 
Currently, we have two maps in the game, and they plan to add two more within the next year. What do you hunt the elk with? I'm going to be using the 300 Magnum, but you can also use the 338. You can use the 308. And to be honest, you can use any gun provided you can get a well-placed shot. Like, for example, you can use the 223 on a deer if you get a good shot. And so for elk, you could probably use the 223 if you can manage to get the neck bone or the spine or the heart. Then I imagine it could take them down. I guess it really depends on how good of a shot you are. Nice, Bob. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. That's something I've been trying to get as well. Is this game worth buying? Uh, if you like a realistic hunting experience, then yes. It's definitely worth buying. Um, it's got a lot of... Uh, realistic features in it it's much slower paced than a game like call of the wild though so if you like fast paced action call of the wild's probably a better pick uh yeah b i will if i can i do like to photo mode to get pictures and video of all of the big stuff we find so we'll try to get super close so we can actually do that because i like being able to use those uh close-up images and videos for thumbnails and like intros to videos Gavin I already answered you I'm not I'm not gonna answer again I already answered if you didn't hear me then that's on you oh yeah definitely Brayden like looking at the world I could see the uh, similarities with Daisy for sure it has a very, like, Daisy-esque map design, and I honestly like that. I've always thought that daisy has got some cool maps. Or a cool map. I actually don't know if they've released any more official ones for it. I think they did, right? Don't they have a, a second or third map? Oh, that's not going to change anything, CG. Even if I put a pinned message, I'm still going to get the same question. Nobody reads the pinned messages. Ever. So it's not even worth putting up. However, one thing that we could do... If I put it in the form of a poll, then they will have to answer the poll to get it to go away. And so they're more likely to read it then. There we go. <laughs> that will be much easier to see than a pinned message. Because if you're on mobile, I think you have to answer the... Actually, I think no matter where you are, you have to answer the poll to get it to go away off the chat. So, uh, yeah. Now, that'll make it so everybody sees it. <laughs> That's the only way that anybody will read it. Because pin messages just get glossed over as if they're not even there. I could even put it in my title and I'd still get questions about it. I've actually done that before. I've put, uh, you know, many bits of info in the title and I still get asked about those exact things. Polls break chat? Uh, they don't break chat normally, uh, Fusion. They shouldn't. Where's that giant? Is he still alive, I wonder? Where is our four-star monster? He's still a four-star mature.
Hmm, what do you guys think? Is he gonna grow anymore or is he gonna stay a four-star mature forever? Whoa, is that a three-star adult? Whoa, 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 there's Whitetail here. Wait, where did these Whitetail come from? There's Whitetail mixed in with the Mule Deer. This is the first time I've seen that. That makes me wonder, did that four-star- was that four-star a Whitetail? There's a three-star adult Whitetail, my gosh. <laughs> I think that's one of the ones that I had been watching. Possibly. It's, it's so hard to tell, but... Yeah, it's kind of what I'm thinking too, guys. I think that if that Mule Deer is still a 4-star, he's probably not going to grow to 5-star. But at the same time, I so badly want a 5-star Mule Deer that we might risk it. Alright, there's a 3-star Mature Whitetail there. And then there's also that crazy 3-star Adult. Alright, we might be able to get some pictures of this three-star adult. I think we're almost close enough to do it. Oh, uh, yeah, we could totally zoom in, I think. Not as close as I'd like to be. But we can kind of see our three-star adult right there. That guy's big for an adult. Like, that guy could maybe be a five-star at some point. This three-star uh, mature right here, I think it could grow to be a four-star even. Definitely looks like it could. I wish we could get a little closer. I think we probably can if we just inch our way up. Because this guy's actually in a pretty cool place, so I'd like to get a, a good close-up screenshot of him and also just some footage. Future star? Definitely. There's a couple nice ones here. Ooh, that's a tough decision, Blueberry. That's a tough decision, man. I don't know. I'm still kind of learning how to judge, like, when to take them, so... I'm afraid to give you advice on that, because it might be wrong. Um, I crouch up to 200 meters. And then I slow crouch up to about 150, maybe 125, and then I prone for the rest of the way. See, even when prone, they know I'm here. I don't think we're going to get closer, so we're going to have to get our pictures now. Gosh, still can't get as close as I'd like, man. We can kind of see what that three-star adult looks like, though. And then that's our three-star mature. What do you guys think? Should we kill the three-star mature? He looks old. And that's our three-star adult there. I think we should do it. He's somewhere. What do you mean, what do you mean, Matthias? I haven't posted a Call Wild video in like a week and a half? Like a week, week and a half? I haven't posted any Red Deer videos.
What is this guy right here? One star young. Three star mature right there. Can we get a spine shot maybe? Yeah, we can. All right, we're going to let that three star adult grow. But I don't think this three star mature would get too much bigger. We could be wrong, but I don't think he'll get too much bigger. Excuse me? Excuse me? What? What? <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't know what to make of that. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he learned the uh, teleportation tactics, I guess. Can we spot him maybe? Usually when they disappear or teleport like that, they're typically like a few hundred meters away from where you killed them. Maybe we can find it up here. Go out of render and come back. Maybe. I don't know. And also, why was I prone when it fast traveled? That was weird. Th that was just a bunch of weird. Uh, maybe resetting the time and going back down there will help. And I mean, we can check that four-star mule, mule deer again as well. See if maybe it'll have aged during the time we took down that white tail. Scotty beamed him up something, man. I don't know what that was. Uh, hold on. Let me... Uh, low poly dinosaur, thank you so much for becoming a member. Dude, really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it, man. Yeah, it was just some strangeness happening there, guys. I don't know what to make of that. Also, I can't believe that we've been streaming for two hours already. My gosh, time is flying by. It's somehow already been two hours. Would I want a planes map? I think with the render distance of this game, yeah, that would be awesome. I think they could do a pretty good job on that. Yeah, that was a lot of blood. It's because we uh, ended up hitting the spine. And um, as far as I've been able to tell, the blood is based off of how quickly it dies and what you hit. So like if you hit double lung, you know, there's a lot of blood. But if you hit double lung plus an artery, there's even more blood. But it seems to be based on like the speed that an animal dies. Obviously, if you hit the artery and the lungs, it's going to die quicker. And so there ends up being more blood. I don't know. I like their blood system. It's obviously not perfectly realistic, but it's better than most games I've seen. 
But from what I can tell, the amount of blood is based on how quickly the animal dies from the uh, shot that you hit. We spine shot that guy, ran up to him, and he disappeared in front of us. That was just all kinds of wizardry. Yeah, Arctic and or Tundra map would be cool. Especially with Muskox. Yeah, that'd be amazing, Phantom Gamer. Muskox are something I've always wanted to see in Call of the Wild and Classic, so if they could do it here in Way of the Hunter, that'd be amazing. I would be so happy. Fortunately, not a five star. I know, right? That would have been so sad if it happened to a five star. This is one of the other mule deer herds I've got. This is not the one that's got the four star, so. Not going to worry about them too much. Welcome back, Parker. Welcome back. Dinosaur took him something, man. Some type of weirdness just went on there. Are five stars rare? Yes, they're very rare. During early access, I killed only three five star trophies in 77 hours. And considering that the uh, lodges hold like maybe a hundred animals, that is like a lot of game time to fully fill a lodge. Uh, what do you mean, Osgard? What kicking sound? I don't hear any kicking sound near water. Did I just see three star mature pop up? Either that three star adult aged or our three star mature is still there. The blood is still there, that's for sure. <laughs> Gosh, I swear if that's the same deer, then I'm not gonna know what to say. Oh, weird fusion. That is kind of strange. We saw three star mature pop up, but where? And also is our deer back. Yeah, there's no way it should be alive, provided that's the same one. My only explanation is that it might be the uh, three-star adult that aged to a three-star mature. That it right there. Three star, okay, that's the three star adult. So the three star adult is still there. How to slow crouch with control. Uh, you missed um, a four star mature buck, uh, Reed. And then uh, we've got some weird stuff happening with a three star mature that we just shot. We, uh, spine shot it, dropped it on the spot, we walked up to it, and it disappeared right out from under us. Oh, is it? It's back! It's there! What? It's right there. It's so fast traveling, going out of render did help, then. That's so weird, man. 
That's so strange. It's back now. <laughs> I mean, at least we get to claim it. Watch it disappear as I walk up. That would be, that would just be the cruelest thing ever. <laughs> that four star mule deer is still there though. That guy's been a four star mature the entire stream. And this is why I'm having trouble pinpointing how long it takes for animals to age. That guy's been a four-star mature mule deer the entire stream. It's been about two hours of streaming. Yet we've seen a couple deer grow within that time as well. I, I can't figure out how long it takes. To be honest, I can't even tell where that mule deer is. Is that him? He's back in these trees somewhere. I think we might just let him grow. Honestly, guys, I'm willing to risk it. I think we're going to risk it and see if he can grow bigger. If not, it is what it is. We'll find more in the future eventually. The more we take down bad genetics animals, the more four and five stars we'll see, so I'm willing to risk it. Let's just go grab that uh, buck that we took down. Oh, hey, hold on. Ah, I thought maybe they didn't spook. I was going to try and get some cool footage of them. They spooked off though. Moment of truth. Will he disappear when we walk up on him? Please don't. Let's Why? Why, man? <laughs> every time <laughs> every time I get close to him, he's gone. How does that happen? <laughs> okay, I'm wondering if restarting the game would fix that. That's so strange, man. Where is he going? It's got to be just teleporting somewhere, right? Because that's what it's been every time we've had something disappear. It's like teleported into another area. Where could it possibly have been teleporting? Like... Honestly... I don't think it's worth the time. I want to hunt some elk anyway. I want to hunt some elk, so I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go hunt some elk. Question is, where will the elk be? Got an elk zone here. Though we could also go up to some of the uh, the private land down here, because this is by far the best elk area. And maybe we could purchase the pass for it. I think that might be the way we do it. I could use the photo mode to try and find it, but I doubt that's going to matter, because every time I've seen them teleport like that or like disappear, they always go like 600 meters away and who who knows what direction it did it in anyway and who knows if it's even the same bug it could just be going invisible um i've definitely go i clipped all of that though so i'll send it to the d developers and hopefully they can fix that or at least try to figure out why why that happened 
Because that's strange. How much money we got? We currently have 5467. Honestly, instead of buying the 308, I mean the 7mm Mod 8 and 300 are going to be perfectly fine for a while. Let's just buy the, um, permit to hunt in Halliwitch Private Pass. Because this area is crazy good for elk, and I just want to get some elk hunting done. Let's do it. Any trophies yet today? We got a four-star whitetail deer. Scoring 439. Possibly Joshua, but... I've seen some... I've seen some animals that were very large at a young age die before reaching five stars, so... I don't know if that's how it works. I think it just determines, like... How big their antlers can grow by the time they die. Or like, I guess how big their antlers would be if they live like the full life expectancy. I've seen some die like very early compared to what we expected. We had one that was a three star adult. And then it ended up dying. As a, uh, as a four star mature. Like it had just barely gotten to the four star mature stage. And then ended up dying. But considering how big it was at such a young age, you would have expected that it would have had good genetics. So I, I don't really know if it works that way. I don't think, um, I don't think the genetics necessarily influence how young it dies. But they haven't explained whether or not that is a thing, so it's all up to speculation. Uh, up in the north, Thomas, the, the northern parts of the map in the swamp are great for moose. More testing then? Exactly. And that's one of the things that I love about a fresh release of a game like this. There is still so much stuff undiscovered. So many things that we gotta try and figure out over time. To try and benefit our herds the most. What's the best way to find elk? So I've seen the most elk in the bottom left part of the map. Right down here, the Halliwitch Pass. We're gonna be going there right now. Let's see, we're gonna have to go down here until we see a fork in the road and then turn right. So we take a right, take a left, and then straight. A right, a left, and straight. You can, the boss, um, the 7mm, oh gosh, English, the 7mm odd 8, I would definitely recommend getting close to the moose if you're going to use it on them. Just to ensure that you have enough power, because at longer ranges you do lose some energy. So I'd recommend taking a close shot with the 7mm odd 8 if you're taking down a moose. And maybe attempt to get a hard shot. What game do I like more at the moment? Uh, Way of the Hunter or Call of the Wild? Definitely Way of the Hunter. I like both of them though. I love the way the clear cuts look in this game. They look just like real clear cuts. Look just like the clear cuts I've seen here in Oregon. And that's kind of what I've always hunted growing up as well. Always hunted clear cuts for Blacktail. When am I going to make more Call of the Wild? Once I get tired of Way of the Hunter. Once I get tired of only playing Way of the Hunter, then we'll bring Call of the Wild back, so probably a week or two. I mean, it says it in the poll. We actually got some more information uh, recently, Jake. I asked uh, the community manager last night for more specific answers on rares. 
Um, everybody's just been asking, is there rare fur types in the game? And so they've been saying, yes, there is. There's a handful of variations, but, um, I decided that since we don't really know, I would ask him more specifically, can you randomly find albinos, melanistics, and piebalds without doing missions? And they said, no, currently it's missions only that have rares. However, they, they plan to implement rares into the game, uh, at a later date. So there's no randomly... Uh, spawning rares throughout your map as of now, but it's going to be a thing eventually. So eventually we will get ourselves some rares, but they're not in the game currently. Besides the mission ones. Uh, yes, Marks, I do hunt IRL. I haven't been able to in the last few years, but growing up I hunted quite a bit with my dad and uh, my sister and a couple of our friends. Never really had much luck with it, though. Probably due to not having a lot of time to be able to head out. Had a couple chances at some bucks, but something always went wrong and wasn't able to seal the deal. Since there's been quite a few new people coming to the channel from Way of the Hunter, I suppose there's a lot of you that haven't heard the stories of what has happened every time that I've had a shot at a buck. One of the first times that I ended up getting a chance to take down a buck, it actually would have been a pretty large one. Me and my dad were hunting, I think I was like 14 at the time? I was like 13 or 14. I know I was just barely old enough to actually go out and hunt. I had just passed my hunter's safety course. And we went out uh, hunting for blacktail in one of the clear cuts that my dad had worked on. And we ended up finding some massive tracks, like absolutely giant blacktail tracks, larger than any of the other tracks in the area. They absolutely dwarfed the rest of the tracks. And we heard that buck bounding off through the forest. And so we started trekking after him, trying to see if we could catch up to him and get him in an opening. Like halfway through, halfway through the little, uh, a uh, patch of forest that we were walking through in hope in hopes of catching him in the next clear cut. We ended up I ended up reaching down to check my pocket. I was like, okay, let's make sure I've got my wallet, because that's where my tag is. And I reached down. Guess who didn't have their wallet? Me. So guess who didn't have their tag? Me. So we had to turn around and go back. Came back there the next day. Nothing. He was gone for good. Never saw him again. We heard of somebody taking a 4x5 from that unit the next year. Crushing. Absolutely crushing. <laughs> it was my first hunt though, so... Beginner mistakes, you know. Next year didn't really find many deer at all, except some does, so we didn't get anything. A Couple years later, we went out again. Um, we saw a lot of deer that day. I went out with a friend and we had spotted quite a few small bucks, but nothing, uh, legal size. Cause I believe it at the time it was a fork or larger. You couldn't shoot spikes. You couldn't shoot does. It was just forks and above. And so we ended up finding quite a few deer, but none of them were, uh, big enough to shoot. And the ones that were, were on private land, so we couldn't hunt them. And then we ended up spotting a nice, uh, 3 by 3 blacktail. Probably, like, three or four hundred yards out in a clear cut. We were trying to... First, it took a little bit for me to see him because he had spotted him. And so I was trying to get him in my scope. By the time I got him in my scope, I couldn't get steady. There was just no way that I could take a safe shot on him that I could guarantee would be an ethical hit. And so I just opted not to take the shot because I would rather not take the shot than gut shot it or something and then have to chase it down and track it down and have part of the meat be ruined anyway. I'm not going to take like a risky shot on something because I am very big on making sure that I can get a quick clean kill. And so unfortunately just wasn't able to get him down. And those were the only two opportunities I really had to take down a buck. Just didn't work out in any of those situations, sadly. 
But it is what it is, you know, it's part of hunting. Things don't always go your way. And that's uh, part of the reason why hunting is exciting. You never quite know what's going to happen. Grab that and... Grab that so we can reveal all of the question marks on the map. At least you made up for it in-game? Exactly. Uh, never had good luck hunting IRL. Became a uh, YouTube content creator hunting all the time. <laughs> no joke. Thought that stump was a bear. Can confirm. Not bear. What is my favorite animal in the game? So far, the white-tailed deer. I think the white-tail are very well done. We're heading out to take down some elk now, though. Nice, Jameson. That's awesome. I have heard that the, uh, the main story mode for this game is actually pretty in-depth and amazing. I haven't got to play it myself all the way through because I've been focused on managing the herds, but at some point I'll probably play through them because I have heard that it's really good. Let's actually get out here. Because I remember I've actually seen some mountain goats and also some elk here. It's 10.32 so there's plenty of time for them to be drinking still. What's the lowest star you've ever killed? Well, considering they only go from one to five and one stars are pretty common, I'd say a one star. Nice, Asher. That's awesome. Yeah, Tanner. I doubt I'll ever be over there, though. Um, I'm not a big fan of travel. I don't mind driving to, like, another state, but I don't like planes at all. So I don't really travel anywhere that's more than a state or two away. I think the farthest I've traveled away from Oregon was Utah. I've gone to Utah, I've gone to Washington, California. I've gone through Idaho and uh, Nevada, but never actually stopped at them. Okay, nothing here this time around it looks like. Good to know. Yeah, slaying hogs, sometimes that's just how you gotta do it, like... That's the way I am too, if I don't feel like the shot is a safe shot, I'm not gonna take it. Cause I feel like it's just wrong to, like, shoot an animal if you're gonna gut shot it, or something like that. Because that's not like a, it's not a quick death. I'm very big on making sure that I can make a quick killing shot. Which is exactly why I passed up that one buck. Since I couldn't get as steady as I would have liked, I just didn't feel like it was a good idea to take the shot. Because I've seen people take some risky shots and then just completely botch the shot, have to track down the animal and put another shot into it. And that is just not an ideal way to do things. Yeah, turkey. Sounds like you've done good, man. Sounds like you did good. You think they'll add dogs? I'm sure eventually they will. It's a pretty highly requested thing. I think it's just a matter of could they make dogs work well in the game? Because I'm not sure how hard it would be to add dogs to a game on Unreal 4.
Yeah, Craig. Oof, we are having trouble getting up here. This Jeep's uh, lacking a little oomph up these hills. I guess that's kind of realistic, though. You lose mo momentum, it's a little bit more difficult to get up a slope that steep. Oh, really, Jameson? That's wild. I heard somebody talking about that. Gotta be careful taking these corners, though. What have I got so far? We got ourselves a four-star whitetail, uh, Broden. Why did my marker remove? There. Better. I believe there's a campsite right here as well, so we're gonna have to get that campsite. Bloodhounds would be helpful? Definitely. They should add bow hunting? I think they've already said they might do that at some point. It's a very highly requested feature, so I would imagine eventually we'll get it. Wonder if we're going to see any elk from up here. Because last time we saw quite a bit of elk throughout this area during early access. We need to kill a young, a mature, and an adult elk for this mission. Nice, Dasher. Can't see them at the moment. There's got to be some down there, though. Do the calls work good in the game? I actually haven't used them too much, so I'm not 100% sure if they do. Uh, the few times that I used them in early access, I didn't seem to get too many good results with it, but I've heard other people say that the calls are great, so... I probably just need to use them a little more to get used to it. Can a four-star mature turn into a five-star mature? Yes, they can, Lone Wolf. Depending on what the genetics are, and I guess random chance, they could grow more. I've seen some good genetics animals die early, though. Like, I had a three-star adult that turned to a three-star mature, and then barely turned to a four-star mature, and then died the next time it advanced, so... And then I've also seen... some that had more of average genetics, like a two-star adult, turn into a three-star mature, a four-star mature, and then a five-star mature, so... I think that... Obviously, the better genetics means it's got more of a chance of growing to be large, but I do think they can die early as well. So, at least from my experience, that seems to be a thing. Found two fours next to each other? Nice, Lone Wolf. I would definitely let them grow, see if you can maybe get one of them to become a five star. I mean, you got two of them, right? So that's two chances. One of them is bound to turn to a five star. Moment of truth. Do we have elk here? Or are they going to be stubborn? Oh, we got wolves. Um, hmm. Not exactly what I was hoping to find, but you know. I'm not going to worry about them too much. I think I'll just let them spook. Because they're not going to be running in the direction that... I'm going anyway. Oh, they are. Oh, you silly wolves. 
Don't you dare run in the direction that we found elk last time. Oh, you silly wolves. That's just rude. That, that's just plain rude, man. Though it doesn't seem to be spooking anything else from what I can tell. So maybe we're good. And I guess we don't even know if the elk are going to be on this side. Uh, no, Hunter Light Jam. I have not uh, hunted whitetail IRL. Uh, sadly, the whitetail hunting is not great in Oregon. There's not a lot of places where you can hunt whitetail here. And most of them require a controlled hunt tag. So most of them you have to draw for. Uh, no, Ryder. It will definitely not ever come out on PlayStation 4. I don't think so, Motsi. I had three five stars in like 77 hours. It takes a long time if you want to get a five star of every species. Like... Because you have to think, like, in order to consistently find big animals, you have to weed out the bad genetics for that species, and that can take quite a while. And it also depends on the difficulty level you're playing at as well. But considering that it took probably 50 hours for me to manage my whitetail and mule deer to get them to a point where I was able to see big ones often... If I were to do that for every species in the game, that would easily be, you know, a thousand hours. A thousand hours to get a five star of everything, provided you get them at the same pace. Like, for some it may take longer, others it may take less time. I don't think it's going to be easy to get all the five stars. Obviously, it'll be easier if you end up playing on the Explorer difficulty, but if you play on Adventurer or anything above that, it's not going to be super quick. Uh, reset the time, Dean. That'll probably help you there. Most likely resetting the time will get Hollywood back there. Because res resetting the game isn't going to change anything. Like, whenever you open the game back up, everything will be exactly how it was when you left it. So I would recommend that you reset the time. Go to the bed, sleep to the next day, and then head back out there and find him. I haven't found a lot of them yet, Amorg. If you want to see a bunch of the campsites, I would probably recommend going to one of my live streams from Early Access. And uh, finding a spot where I open the map, because that'll show you more than what I could show now. As, uh, since we restarted yesterday, I've only found, like, two campsites since then. Where's these elk, huh? I guess they're not at the lake zones. I suppose they could be... Maybe down the river? In fact, that's probably where they are, is down the river. Because I know for a fact that elk can drink in this area. I'm going to assume down the river. I think we should probably head to this uh, campsite first, though, because I know for a fact this is a campsite. Let's at least look for their zone along here. We might have to save the elk hunt for another day. Wait, where was that? There. Oh yeah, this is their rarely drinking zone. 
That means they're probably down the river. Yeah, to be honest, we could go down the river a little bit and then run back to the uh, campsite. question is how far down the river will they be uh the Halley Witch one uh costo but you don't have to purchase it you can also just do the jobs for the landowner and it will unlock the area for you for free so if you don't want to have to fork out the 4500 I would definitely recommend just doing the landowner missions They're usually pretty easy. Lots of elk in the area, it looks like. We spooked them, though. Except for that guy over there, he didn't spook, but these did. That guy's big. Wow. Okay, that's a four or a five star, I think. I think we got a four or five star elk. Yeah, that guy's considerably smaller. We either have a four or a five star, I think. Wow. Bear tracks as well. Uh, no, Jake, they don't expire. Once you have the pass, it's a permanent thing. It's basically just like asking the landowner for permission to hunt there. So you can either like pay for the permission to hunt there or unlock it via doing some jobs for him. Pretty cool system. Yeah, that guy looks huge, Johnny. <laughs> he looks huge. I think it's time to go after that guy. We've got about 45 minutes before today's video goes live though, so we, we gotta find him soon. We gotta find him within the next 45 minutes or we're gonna have to wait for another day. I think what we're gonna do is go up here to the highest point and look down. Looks like you may get your trophy back. Yeah, we might, man. We might get an elk. Already. What happens if you don't have a pass? You won't be able to claim anything that you shoot in that area. Until you get the pass. Those animals that you kill, they would stay on the reserve. Until you uh, do get access to go claim them. Uh, yeah, Hunt, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Johnny can see the future? Probably. It, it sure seems like that sometimes. We got a, a future seer teller here. That's the, uh, that's the new name for psychics. A future seer teller. Rur, rur. Hey Linda, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. You have three speeds in the game. Slow, medium, and fast. Which is considered walk, slow, or medium. Wait, um... Oh, I, I get what you're saying. Um... Well, it would just be like the normal walking pace. That would be walking. If you, uh... Hit control, that puts you into slow walking. And then, uh... Shift is obviously sprinting. So we saw our big male go over there. Question though is like, where did he end up going after that?
Also, this part of the map is beautiful. I absolutely love this. I actually need to get a screenshot up here. Want a screenshot for a thumbnail in case we do get a big elk? I gotta change the scope to toggle. And now we can enter photo mode and... Beautiful. Love to see it. Now, back to hold. There we go. I know where I smashed. It looks incredible. I love photo mode. It's, it's probably my favorite feature of the game that isn't, like, hunting related. It's probably my favorite feature I've seen thrown into a game as just like an extra. It's so cool. Being able to get those awesome screenshots just makes the game even better for me. That gun looks massive? Yeah, it could partially be the uh, field of view that I was using on there as well. Best area for Whitetail? Like, bottom right of the map in that private land area? That's definitely the best. Diamond Drill has tons of good whitetail. Uh, maybe, Lucas. It depends on what updates they bring out. I mean, the angler is going to be coming out soon, so I doubt I'll play any other fishing game besides the angler. As that game is going to have pretty much everything I've ever wanted in a fishing game. It's 11.23. I think he's definitely over the hill still. The question is, like, how far over the hill is he, and will we spook him if we walk up there? Because obviously we don't want to spook him more. That answers that question! Two fifty away, so that means we can crouch normally for a little bit. What's the best spot for mule deer? Uh, same area as the whitetail, diamond drill. And then also the main river that's along the starting area. I know, Johnny, hopefully it's a five star. That'd be incredible. Uh, yeah, Kyle, I have noticed that. And also another thing to take into account is it's not always that the uh, animal is disappearing or that the blood trail is, like, glitching. If you get a low bleed rate, they will stop bleeding eventually, and they won't die. Yeah, we got two male elk. Definitely our guys. Definitely what we're looking for. Yeah, Hyper. That would be hilarious. Once we get to the top where we can see them, I do want to try and get a screenshot of my guy aiming right at one of the elk. Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah, Lone Wanderer, hopefully it is, man. Hopefully this is a good one. 
I think it will be. Still 200 meters, we might be able to move a little bit quicker. 150, okay. Well, we'll go back to slow crouching. Now, I don't think this area dips down as uh, intensely as I thought it did. Now, we can kind of look at the topography right here. Yeah, this thing's not as deep of a dip as I thought. Um, spooked, what? No. Rude. Such rude elk, man. I didn't realize one of them was closer than the ones that were giving us the sound cues. That's unfortunate. They ran down this way. Can we maybe at least see them first? Gosh, man, that sucks. Might be better off just time resetting. Though I suppose we could just get up here and maybe look down. Nice, Waylon, that's awesome. Congrats, dude. Definitely a big first sell. Are there goats up there too? I don't think there is in this part, but I believe like if you go up into these two areas, there definitely is. It can be tough surreal, but once you kind of understand like uh, where the animals can be, uh, it gets a little bit easier. And I find that mule deer and whitetail are probably the easiest to hunt in the game. So maybe starting with those would be a good idea. They're also quite a bit of fun to hunt. But yeah, mule deer and whitetail, you can find tons of them along this main river during their drinking time, which is between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. So if you're just starting out, I would definitely recommend that. And you can also lower the difficulty if you'd like as well. Once you complete the first few missions to unlock the second territory and also the store, uh, when you go to select territory, you can actually change the difficulty as well to lower it if you'd like. And that makes it so they would spook less if you were to lower it. Definitely should help you out if you're not too big of a fan of uh, the difficulty of some of the higher difficulties in the game. Oh, definitely, Harley. Definitely. However, that's not entirely true because if you play on the Ranger difficulty, they spook just about the same as real life animals. Ranger difficulty is insane. I'm glad that they give that option, though, for a super hardcore experience if you want it. If we don't see him from here, I'll be shocked. These elk definitely went down in this little valley. Question though is how far did they run? I might need to loop around and up.
Uh, no, Justin. It doesn't improve the uh, quality of the animals. Oh, definitely T-Rex Hunter. I went elk hunting a couple times as well, and yeah, good luck getting close to them. They'll see you from a mile away. Well, not a literal mile, but you know what I mean. Like, elk are smart. They're also very elusive. Like, they're always moving. Tough to hunt. Most of the people that I knew that elk hunted growing up, they would keep tabs on the elk herds the entire year find where they like to go, uh, see, like, what their behaviors are on specific types of, uh, weather, different days, and just, like, keep tabs on the herd the entire year. That way, whenever elk season would come around, they'd have a better chance of getting one of them. Lots and lots of scouting through the entire year for elk, from what I've seen. At least from the people that are consistently, uh, what's the word? Successful? The people that are consistently successful with elk hunting are usually the people that have, uh, kept tabs on the herds. Wow, we made it clear down to this other lake. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll just find a herd out here. Because I'm not seeing the herd that we're chasing. It's almost like they just vanished off the face of the earth. Which also reminds me of real elk. Yeah, we might have to reset the time and come back for that guy. Since we know the area that he uh, is drinking. <laughs> Nothing at this lake that I can see. Oh, they're right there. No, really? Two star mature. That's our big guy and I can't get a spot on him. No. Uh, of course, the big one I couldn't spot. Oh my gosh, he's huge though. He is so much bigger than the others. If he stops, I'm taking the shot, guys. If he stops, I'm going to take the long-range shot. That's probably a four-star, to be honest, though. We got this. Got to get on a flatter surface, though, so I don't jitter. That scope jitter gets annoying. Gosh, it's still jittering. That's him. That's our guy right there. He's definitely the biggest one. Uh, Devin, thank you for the super chat. Dude, really appreciate it. Really appreciate the support, man. Gonna pause and wait for the alert to pop up. Yeah, they did run far. They, they run quite a ways away in this game. Is the 7mm worth getting? Uh, definitely, uh, X3, it's good. 7mm Mod 8 is actually a really amazing deer rifle in this game. 
There it is. There it popped up. I just don't want it popping up while I take the shot. Here we go. Moment of truth. Can we make this shot? We got him! He's going down! We hit him good! Oh my gosh. We got him, guys! 600 meter shot on a giant elk. Now the question is, is he a 4 or a 5 star? Because he looks way bigger than the rest. Uh, there's another one that's probably. Oh, uh, uh. we just bounced and almost died. Whoa, 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 there were some close ones. Uh, I did Lone Wonder. That's why I was using the dot. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, because I've actually seen a lot of comments about it on my 700 meter shot. When you use Hunter Sense while you're looking through your scope, it accounts for the wind for you. You see the red dot that's above my reticle? That shows exactly where the bullet is going to hit based off of your zeroing distance, wind direction, and also the um, distance of the animal. So yes, it, uh, it, it kind of does all the work for you. Just use the dot to aim at long range and you're good to go. Uh, 9 a.m. Vortex. What the? Ma'am? Oh, she's stuck, I think. <laughs> hey! First bugged animal I've seen. Get some pictures of her. Ah! Oh! Ow! Gosh! What the? What did I just witness? Did that not hit? <laughs> it didn't hit. I hit the tree. Three hit boxes. Working as intended. <laughs> that was interesting. They're like, oh, you wanted pictures. Hey, I'll, I'll call my friends over. We can all get a picture. Yeah, some weird teleportation tactics there. Let's go get this guy that we hit, though. Yeah, that was interesting. I, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, my map is cursed today, Johnny. I didn't have this many issues during early access with the animals. I think we're getting pretty unlucky today, though we did just nail an insanely long range shot. Yeah, I saw the zeroing. It should have still hit it at that range though, I mean we were right on top of it. Like um, let's see. This rock, that's elk sized. Yeah, like it should have still hit. Yeah, it's showing that it would have hit in the middle at 600 zero. What the? Yeah, that makes sense, I guess, because when you're close, it's gonna... It's not gonna shoot exactly where the scope's aiming because it's gonna be where the barrel's aimed. I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, NVI Wraith, it is pretty crazy. I love that area. Diamond Drill is my favorite place to hunt. Nah, it doesn't annoy me, Isaac. I kind of like that. I like being able to see where my shot's landing. Wow, we did nail that shot. My gosh. I tried to put marks where it was walking the whole time as well. So we could better figure out, like, where the blood is going to be.
Because the last thing we would want is to lose this guy. Because it can be hard to track. Th oh, there it is. There he is, guys. Wow. Okay, I'm going to say four. Ooh, maybe. Either four star or small five star. I mean, look at the mass on this thing. That's huge. It's got crazy mass, but not as many tines as the uh, five star we got in early access had. Wow, that's a good looking elk. I mean, regardless of what this one is, that's a beauty. Let's see. Four star. 89% <laughs> genetics. So, I have seen 89% genetics animals make five star, but they never grew to be like the biggest five stars. They were just barely five stars. This guy probably could have grown a little bit more, but then it's also a matter of would he have died before he got there. I'm happy with this. I'll take it. A four star elk. Also, guys, that was what? What was the range? What was what was the distance? 572 meters. Take a quick pick of that. Yeah, so we nailed it right in the lung. That's one of the better shots we've made. Like, of, of course, the shot on the Mouflon from 700 was probably better, but I think because this was an elk, a much larger, harder to take down animal, I'm honestly happier with this kill than I was the 700 meter shot on the Mouflon. This was satisfying to take this guy down from that range. So cool. And trophy score 423. Yeah, this guy wouldn't have been a big uh, five because you need 460 for them to hit five star. And I don't know if this guy would have lived to reach too much past that. So I think we actually made a pretty okay choice. Let's tax it. That was awesome. That was super awesome. Thanks, Decay. Let's go... Toss this guy up in the lodge. I gotta be careful not to show spoilers, though, because there's obviously stuff that was from videos that I have not shown off on YouTube yet. But I think I know where I want to put this guy. I uh, think I've already got an idea of where I want him to go. That is right up here. Thirty-nine hundred. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. We'll we'll have to do that some other time. But we know where we want to put him at least. But anyway, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end it there since uh, we got a video going live in like twenty-two minutes. I appreciate everybody dropping by. Hope you guys had a fun time watching. We finally took down a pretty big elk, so that's nice. And uh, next time, hopefully, we'll get some uh, some more uh, big trophies added to the lodge. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you all. In the next one. Peace.